Hi everyone, welcome again. I have received a package. Huge package. Let's unbox it and see how it went through the postal service. There we have Hewlett Packard Vectra VL400 DT. There we have front. It is not smashed. So so far so good. It's doing good. Look. Let's see. Look at this. CD. Oh, we have a hard drive. Nice. What is this? Oh, this goes here, I think. This was hanging around, now it's in. Floppy drive, yes. It has no RAM memory installed. It is it. This is based on Intel. Ah, let's see here. There's a sticker over the chipset. Battery, okay. Okay. Oh. Intel 8.15 We'll check everything else There we go Quite dry Pentium 3 800 256 133 Okay, this is nice AGP this is PCI something. PCI X. This is nice. ISA. Exterior. Interesting. PGA 370. Okay. Let's see if everything is fine here. Everything is clean. Great. There we go. Use some paste. Kill, but this goes like this. There we go. What do we have here? Audio, VGA, USB. Here I have a memory bank to test it with. It is 128 megabytes. It's opened. I was going to test it, but I changed my mind. Let's take it apart to check everything and clean.
this second IV. This is the first. And it's the other way around. It was in the correct position. The secondary, it's at the top. tab <coughs> It's a light on CD drive Great. Some of the screws are pretty light screwed. Here's a little motherboard. Very nice. Let's clean this a little. Nothing corroded. Everything looks fine. And the original one. You see the Max Tor. And we have there. Well, let's see. Going to take a look. Oh, we have liquid something. Okay. I am going to glue the tab and leave it to dry. Let's check that floppy drive. It's very easy to open. Nice! Let's clean it and put some grease. Also, let's clean the heads. Not bad. Okay. Let's put it together. There we go. We'll see this. How it works. And then, since it's easy to take it out, Here's the chip. There we go. Little nice look to it. You see the battery? See? Nothing. I have to buy more. There it is. 
I have cleaned the case. Let's get in the motherboard first. This cable goes back in its place. Go oh, nice and tidy. Now the PSU connections. Here. CD drive slides and locks in nicely. I plug the Molex power connector. Let's put back the floppy and hard drive on the bay. Power connection to the drives as well. Cable management on the run right now. Let's go. Let's connect the ribbon cables of the drives. Little floppy cable is the best. Something like that. Our duct. Finally, our CD audio cable. So everything is set for machine here, everything connected. Let's turn it on. Okay. It starts right on. I thought so. Any lights? Oh yes. Oh, poor thing. Here we have Pentium 3, 126 extended RAM, video values, what it says. Oh, real cool, we know where our message has been logged. Flexible disk drive error. Okay. I forgot to plug the front panel that's why there is no light so i'll do that now we have lights here by the light it's whoa that's not sounding good flexible disk driver oh okay i'll disconnect it entering bios setup let's see what we have Let's see if there is anything inside here. Nothing. But it works. Nice. So there is not much in here. The always the same stuff as always. Nothing very. We'll see afterwards if there is a BIOS update or something. But I think we can see if it works. 
Let's see if we boot to the hard drive. And we are booting to Windows 98. Let's see what we have inside here. There we are. Avast. Oh, this is quite nice. Access. Word. Sleepy. This is nice. Okay. And I think we have sound. It's a crystal something. Here we have the sound going. Let's test the CD drive. <sighs> Let's go now. Spinning. Oh, yes. Let's copy something. Dos bench. <laughs> oh, that's great. <laughs> it's working fine. It's great. Very nice. Let's test the hard drive. We need to address that floppy drive, we'll see how an AGP card performs here. Pretty interesting. Okay, very nice. Let's make a basic test if this works. Look at this neat system. This comes off. Put it aside. Take things that you need. Your receipt, your clamp, there it goes. Take this from here, put it down there. Let's see if it likes it. Oh, yes, check this detail. I have this, could it be? There it goes. Before testing the FX5200, let's uninstall a vast antivirus. Let's try Doom.
Good morning, and welcome to the Black to the Forensic System. This automated train is trained for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time Half Life is stuttering. How strange it should be enough. Let's do 3D Mark. There are some artifacts going on. Fifty seven hundred and sixty eight points. Now let's go to DOS Bench from Phil's computer lab. We can see in SpeedSys that memory test has failed. I'll have to change that memory bank. The 3D Bench scores 341.8 FPS. Chris Bench scored 198.9 FPS. PC Player scored 88.3 points. Doom scored 84.1 FPS. And Quake scored 64.2 FPS. Let's take out the memory and replace it with a 256 megabyte module. This one I know for sure it works, so... Let's go with this one. Plug it in. Yes. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided Tastes for better. the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. We need more the memory. Is eight. Now Half Life works fine. FX with Glitches are not from the RAM. Oh, slightly, it is different. Slightly better with the other RAM. Okay. Fast. Oh yes. And now SpeedSys memory test finished fine. 3D Bench scored 341.8 FPS. Chris Bench scored 198 FPS. PC Player scored 88.3 points. Doom scored 84.1 FPS. And Quake scored 64.2 FPS. Practically the same score as before. Let's test the onboard video. It
It's based on Intel 82815 graphics. Doom runs perfect. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. The current topside temperature is 90. Half-life looks weird. We have no glitches in 3D Mark and the performance is quite low compared to the Nvidia card. In Speedsys we see our Intel Solano graphics device with 1 MB of memory. Hard drive speed is not remarkable. 3D Bench scored 209.2 FPS. Brisk Bench crashed. Fuck. Fifty three point two. Doom did great with ninety five point three FPS. Quake did not run on six forty by four eighty. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature is 93 degrees with an estimated high of 100. Half-life runs good. We have some glitches like the FX5200 card. In 3D Mark, this card has the top score for now. Here we can see the video card on SpeedSys. 3D Bench scored 321.5 FPS. Chris Bench crashed. PC player scored 47 points.
Doom scored 80 FPS. And Quake scored 30.3 FPS. Let's see what happens with this Vanta card. Doom runs fine. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Drac Mesa Tunnels. This auto this automated this auto is provided for the security and convenience of the Black of the Black Mesa Black Mesa Research Facility person. I can't move the mouse. The time okay, is bye bye. Half-life doesn't work good. No artifacts on 3D Mark, but it crashed like my other video. Whoa, there it is. Same thing. I knew it. The Vanta again. Finally, let's test this ATI card. Good morning and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Top side temperature. Half life works good. In 3D Mark, it scored third with no glitches. Three D Bench scored. 459.3 FPS on the top. Chris Bench crashed. PC Player scored 88.9 points but glitches. Doom scored 119.3 FPS with the highest score. And Quake didn't run on 640 by 480. Let's try to repair the floppy drive. We are going to clean and lubricate everything.
Heads are kind of stuck. Let's see how it's on the other side. Not so bad. Now everything is clean. That's for now. Tomorrow it continues. Well, the glue on the tab has dried and looks firm again. Also, it was cleaned a little. Now let's grease and put back together this floppy drive. we go. And we have this. What happened with this? Just get in there. Just like that. Yeah. Fucking shit. Okay. There we go. Finally. It goes back on the drive bay.
Nice. There we go. We have connected again floppy drive. Here we have the front of the case. This has been fixed. I think we are working. So we are reading the drive here, but we have some issues. It's like taking forever, and I don't think if it will copy. Oh, it copied. Okay, it's not long. Whoa. But it wrote so we are there maybe the heads are a little crazy it's still not happy so you can hear some noises okay okay so that's good. So it's not working. Maybe the heads are not happy with the handling. I clean them again, but nothing. It tries, but then with this one so that's it finally I'll clean the top cover that will do for now So this is the end of this video. If you had a good time, please leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.